Hey, hi. Good afternoon. How are you? Oh, doing very nice. Nice to meet you, sir. Hare Krishna. Nice to meet you too. Uh, would you like to share your name or uh, it's not necessary? Yes, of course. My name is Nate. I'm a monk. We mm -hmm. travel around the world and we spread spiritual knowledge to people. So, we're teaching you the knowledge inside these books. Can you explain a little bit uh, more, like for beginners, for example, if you don't mind? Yes, of course. So, the primary teaching of our philosophy is that you are not this body, that you are a spiritual soul inside this body. Like me, like you, like all the animals, all the plants, and so on. Everyone is a soul. Everything that is living is a soul. So that is our primary teaching, but the philosophy is, of course, very much deeper. So that is why we are simply trying to give people these books to inquire about the Absolute Truth. That is our main purpose. We believe, or actually we say, and the human form of life is meant for inquiring about the Absolute Truth. Uh, that is what we must do, or else we are simply like animals, just sleeping, eating, mating and defending. So what is, uh, what is more correct? Is it uh, like a philosophy teaching or it's a religion? How you consider? Yes, it, it is actually not a religion, it is a way of life. Okay. It helps us realize, as I said, that we are the soul and also that we are servants of God, that that is our primary nation, that is our primary occupation. How to know God, how to serve Him, and of course to try to love Him. That is our primary relationship, to love God. If, it, if your, your friend can, uh, can join yes, us, or yes, maybe join. doesn't want, it's up to you. Yes, yeah? okay, that's fine. He knows way much than me. So, hi. Much ah, that's fine. So basically, guys, what is the... Yeah, close a little bit to be in the... Okay, what is the correct name for My the people name. that... No, 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 correct name of the philosophy, of the teaching. What is the correct uh, pronunciation of the name? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes. Okay, so... Yeah, this is the Krishna Consciousness Movement. Okay, uh, so you travel to different places. Uh, is it like a mission or you decide... Uh, I mean, is it like a plan or you decide where to go, basically? Right now we're settled in London. Okay. Uh, we were traveling for a while, but uh, our particular uh, group of devotees, we call devotees, are now settled here in London as travelers. So, uh, we're starting a temple here, and people can come and they can practice and learn about Krishna consciousness here in London. And how uh, you're friends, right? Or are you just uh, in the same mission, or you're friends? Yeah, you can say that. Ah, okay, that's fine. So basically, how it helps to the friendship. Can you mention some uh, benefits, uh, how, how improve the friendship, yeah, well, the philosophy, the, the last time? friendship is on the basis of uh, different bodily designations. Like we're more, in, we're more inclined to uh, a relationship with someone from our own country, for example. Okay. They speak our language or so many things. Um, or maybe like a political designation, or if they're a woman or a man, right? So these are just different things for the body. But our philosophy is that we're not the body with a consciousness that's in the body. The body's like a car, and we're just driving the car. So uh, this is the spiritual movement. It deals with the soul. And therefore, if you practice this Krishna consciousness, you can start to have a relationship with the person on the soul level, not just the bodily level. The bodily level is temporary. So the soul level is an eternal relationship. It's real friendship. Okay, this, is, this sounds interesting for the people who never heard or still don't know or uh, and for example, is there a typical music which sweet? Uh, I mean, which uh, is suitable for the for the lifestyle, or, or or not really? I mean, do you have a typical music that you prefer to listen, or it depends? Yeah, well, we have one primary song, which is uh, we have many songs actually. Okay. And there's one primary song that you often you will hear. Uh, we're playing down the street with musical instruments. It's called the Hare Krishna Mantra. Okay. Which, uh, I, I don't know if you already described this, but uh, this is actually the primary, uh, you can show it here. Um, it's pronounced Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. And this can be a uh, song in varieties of uh, yep. melodies. Sorry, <laughs> there's a little bit of a <laughs> transaction also going on. Um, this can be sung in varieties of melodies with varieties of instruments. And the special feature of this song is, although it's very simple, it can be sung uh, unlimitedly for as long as you like, and you'll never get tired of hearing it. In fact, actually, your happiness will increase, your focus will increase, your relationships with others, the pleasure will increase. 
it is the reservoir of all pleasure because these names of God are non different from God. They're unlimited. So uh, we chant the names of God, and this is the best song that anyone can sing. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, do you have any connection with the another spiritual uh, philosophy? It's like uh, meditation, or or it's a different uh, different thing. Yeah, well, we have. There's no difference uh, really between any. We see the similarities in all philosophies because this is actually the philosophy of the absolute truth. Okay. So, uh, being the, we can see that uh, there is truth in everything, but this is the culmination of all truths. And um, it is it is meditation, it is yoga. It's the highest form of um, yoga because it puts you in connection with God. So you can practice uh, yoga in your case? Sorry? You can practice yoga at the same time in your case? Yes. Uh, yoga generally has a conception nowadays of being a physical exercise. You stretch yeah. the body, become healthy. That is also part of it. But yoga, actually, the word yoga in Sanskrit, it means to connect with the Supreme. So this is the uh, most direct and effective way how to connect with God, um, which the physical exercises are it's very difficult to practice nowadays with the physical exercises. So this chanting, like I just showed you this song, Hare Krishna, is okay. the most effective, easy way how to connect. Uh, what about the? Is there a food diet, or it's it's not necessary to pay attention to the food? I mean, how is it in general? Yeah, yeah, we follow. Um, you could say a vegetarian diet. Okay. Um, it's very healthy, very healthy lifestyle, and uh, there's no necessity to eat meat. Um, we we feel that uh, we want to practice ahimsa, non-violence, uh, treat animals with due respect, and um, there's all sufficient nutrients in vegetables and grains. So we take vegetables and grains like that. Okay. So, what would you like to suggest to wish to the people? Uh, what is your wish I to wish the other people? Everyone takes up to this Krishna consciousness movement because it is the prime benediction for all human beings. It doesn't matter, even when you call yourself uh, a Muslim, a Christian, and even an atheist. Anyone can take to this process and you can taste the results tangibly. It's not a, a sentiment or a belief. If you practice, you will also feel actually something real. And besides that, the philosophy is also very convincing. You can put any kind of argument and we will answer it very thoroughly. So um, it's for everyone and it gives you the eternal benefit. And also, for example, if you if you want to say one sentence to be kind of uh, strong, remarkable sentence, which one you you want to say? That um, God is one and He is for everyone. And the best way to love Him and understand Him is to chant His holy name. Okay, thank you so much. Hare Krishna. All the best for you. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.